Thank you very much. Please, thank you. Good afternoon. And before we begin, five years ago, nine innocent parishioners of a historically black church — you all remember this horrible event — were tragically killed during an evening Bible study in Charleston, South Carolina. That was a despicable act of evil. Today, we remember this somber day as our hearts still break for the victims, and our prayers go with all. That was a terrible event. It was a terrible day. Terrible, terrible day for our country, for the world, to witness. Uh, thank you very much for being with us at the White House as we reaffirm our sacred promise to support and protect our great veterans. We love our veterans, and great they are. With honor and courage, these incredible patriots performed their duty to America, and now we must fulfill our duty to them, and that's what we're doing. And we're doing it beyond what anyone's ever done as President or as an administration. We gathered together to address an especially urgent struggle. Today, we're unveiling our roadmap to empower veterans and end the national tragedy of suicide. Tremendous problem. Tremendous, tremendous problem. My administration is marshaling every resource to stop the crisis of veteran suicide and protect our nation's most treasured heroes. They've been through so much, and it's such a deep-seated problem. And we're doing tremendous research and everything you can do. But it is something that uh, nobody quite understands. And they, they're gaining knowledge, but they don't quite understand it. And I want to thank our Vice President for being with us. From day one, my administration has been on a mission of historic scope and scale to deliver results for our great veterans. After years of shameful scandal and neglect under the Obama-Biden administration, and scandal and neglect it was, we have fundamentally reorganized the VA from top to bottom, and we've reestablished a crucial principle American veterans deserve the highest standard of care anywhere in the world, and that's what they're getting. Great leadership. To help veterans get the care they need when they need it, we approved Veterans' Choice and made it permanent. And that was a big deal. They've been trying to get it for decades and decades and decades. And we got it. We got it done. And basically, that means if you have a problem and you can't get to a doctor, it doesn't work. You end up going outside. You get your doctor. We pay the bill, and they get immediate service. Some of the veterans were FOSS in past administrations for a long time, beyond the Obama administration even. But for a long time, they were expected to wait a week and two weeks and three weeks just to get to see a doctor. It was a terrible situation. Now we have Veterans' Choice. They've been trying to get it so long, and it works incredibly well. And I would say that's a reason why, when I say 90 percent approval rating, that's probably one of the big reasons. Karen Pence has uh, stated beautifully just a little while ago that the two words, anxiety and stress. And all I can say, Mike, is thank goodness we don't have any anxiety or stress <laughs> in this job with these people back there. But I will tell you, we're working very hard on this problem, and I think we've uh, made a tremendous amount of progress. I even noticed your number, 20. 20 is different than 24. You know what that means. Each day, hard to believe, each day. But 20 is a big difference, and we're getting it way down. And with some of the treatments that we're talking about, I think it'll go a lot lower than that. And, Barbara, I want to thank you very much. I want to thank Chad. I want to thank you very much. It was a beautiful, beautiful statement. Uh, you've done such a fantastic job. I see General Kellogg. He's one of our great generals. He's done a fantastic job for me, and he's doing some very important things for me right now. So, General, thank you very much. Really fantastic job. And we will have another meeting soon, and that meeting will be a meeting of progress, because I know with Karen in charge and with the Surgeon General working along with Karen and the group that you have, I know every one of them, 
You're going to make big, big progress very, very fast. So thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Thank you very much. Mike, thank you.